Ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. Let us never negotiate out of fear. But let us never fear to negotiate. Change is the law of life. And those who look only to the past or present are certain to miss the future. A man may die. Nations may rise and fall. But an idea lives on. Efforts and courage are not enough without purpose and direction. Those who dare to fail miserably can achieve greatly. Let us not seek the Republican answer or the Democratic answer, but the right answer. Let us not seek to fix the blame for the past. Let us accept our own responsibility for the future. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Tolerance implies no lack of commitment to one's own beliefs. Rather it condemns the oppression or persecution of others. In the long history of the world, only a few generations have been granted the role of defending freedom in its hour of maximum danger. I do not shrink from this responsibility. I welcome it. Victory has a thousand fathers, but defeat is an orphan. The greater our knowledge increases the greater our ignorance unfolds. The rights of every man are diminished when the rights of one man are threatened. Mankind must put an end to war before war puts an end to mankind. We must never forget that art is not a form of propaganda it is a form of truth. If a free society cannot help the many who are poor, it cannot save the few who are rich. The human mind is our fundamental resource. Our progress as a nation can be no swifter than our progress in education. Geography has made us neighbors. History has made us friends. Economics has made us partners. And necessity has made us allies. A child miseducated is a child lost. The time to repair the roof is when the sun is shining. Let us not despair but act. Let us not seek the Republican answer or the Democratic answer but the right answer. Let us not seek to fix the blame for the past. Let us accept our own responsibility for the future. Those who make peaceful revolution impossible will make violent revolution inevitable. We are tied to the ocean. And when we go back to the sea, whether it is to sail or to watch, we are going back from whence we came. Conformity is the jailer of freedom and the enemy of growth. I look forward to an America which will not be afraid of grace and beauty. I'm an idealist without illusions. A man may die. Nations may rise and fall. But an idea lives on.
ideas have endurance without death. We are not here to curse the darkness, but to light the candle that can guide us through that darkness to a safe and sane future. The greater our knowledge increases, the greater our ignorance unfolds. When written in Chinese, the word, crisis, is composed of two characters. One represents danger and the other represents opportunity. The Chinese use two brush strokes to write the word, crisis. One brush stroke stands for danger the other for opportunity. In a crisis, be aware of the danger, but recognize the opportunity. Let us never negotiate out of fear, but let us never fear to negotiate. The cost of freedom is always high, but Americans have always paid it. And one path we shall never choose, and that is the path of surrender or submission. Those who foolishly sought power by riding the back of the tiger ended up inside. For time and the world do not stand still. Change is the law of life. And those who look only to the past or the present are certain to miss the future. In a time of domestic crisis, Men of good will and generosity should be able to unite regardless of party or politics. My fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. The margin is narrow, but the responsibility is clear. Those who make peaceful revolution impossible will make violent revolution inevitable. We must use time as a tool, not as a couch. We need men who can dream of things that never were. We have the power to make this the best generation of mankind in the history of the world or to make it the last. The ignorance of one voter in a democracy impairs the security of all. We are not afraid to entrust the American people with unpleasant facts, foreign ideas, alien philosophies, and competitive values. For a nation that is afraid to let its people judge the truth and falsehood in an open market is a nation that is afraid of its people. A man does what he must, in spite of personal consequences, in spite of obstacles and dangers and pressures, and that is the basis of all human morality. The problems of the world cannot possibly be solved by skeptics or cynics whose horizons are limited by the obvious realities. We need men who can dream of things that never were. All of us do not have equal talents, but all of us should have an equal opportunity to develop our talents. For in the final analysis, our most basic common link, is that we all inhabit this small planet. We all breathe the same air, we all cherish our children's futures, and we are all mortal. Our most basic common link is that we all inhabit this planet. We all breathe the same air. We all cherish our children's future. And we are all mortal.
the problems of the world cannot possibly be solved by skeptics or cynics whose horizons are limited by the obvious realities. We need men who can dream of things that never were. Our growing softness, our increasing lack of physical fitness, is a menace to our security. The time to repair the roof is when the sun is shining. Let us not seek the Republican answer or the Democratic answer, but the right answer. Let us not seek to fix the blame for the past. Let us accept our own responsibility for the future. A child miseducated is a child lost. The problems of the world cannot possibly be solved by skeptics or cynics whose horizons are limited by the obvious realities. We need men who can dream of things that never were. Geography has made us neighbors. History has made us friends. Economics has made us partners. And necessity has made us allies. The ancient Greek definition of happiness was the full use of your powers along lines of excellence. We must find time to stop and thank the people who make a difference in our lives. The greater our knowledge increases, the greater our ignorance unfolds. The problems of the world cannot possibly be solved by skeptics or cynics whose horizons are limited by the obvious realities. We need men who can dream of things that never were. Let us never negotiate out of fear, but let us never fear to negotiate. We are tied to the ocean. And when we go back to the sea, whether it is to sail or to watch, we are going back from whence we came. A man may die, nations may rise and fall, but an idea lives on. War will exist until that distant day when the conscientious objector enjoys the same reputation and prestige that the warrior does today. I think this is the most extraordinary collection of talent of human knowledge, that has ever been gathered at the White House. With the possible exception of when Thomas Jefferson dined alone. The courage of life is often a less dramatic spectacle than the courage of a final moment but it is no less a magnificent mixture of triumph and tragedy. We must use time creatively. Too often we enjoy the comfort of opinion without the discomfort of thought. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. A nation that is afraid to let its people judge the truth and falsehood in an open market is a nation that is afraid of its people. Our progress as a nation can be no swifter than our progress in education. The human mind is our fundamental resource. The goal of education is the advancement of knowledge and the dissemination of truth. Let every nation know, whether it wishes us well or ill, that we shall pay any price, bear any burden, 
meet any hardship, support any friend, oppose any foe to assure the survival and the success of liberty. If a free society cannot help the many who are poor, it cannot save the few who are rich. The cost of freedom is always high. But it is a cost that we as Americans have always paid and will continue to pay. The problems of the world cannot possibly be solved by skeptics or cynics whose horizons are limited by the obvious realities. We need men who can dream of things that never were. The very word, secrecy, is repugnant in a free and open society. And we are as a people inherently and historically opposed to secret societies, to secret oaths, and to secret proceedings. In the long history of the world, only a few generations have been granted the role of defending freedom in its hour of maximum danger. I do not shrink from this responsibility. I welcome it. For time and the world do not stand still. Change is the law of life. And those who look only to the past or the present are certain to miss the future. Mankind must put an end to war, or war will put an end to mankind. The supreme reality of our time is dot the vulnerability of our planet. The great enemy of the truth is very often not the lie, deliberate, contrived, and dishonest, but the myth, persistent, persuasive, and unrealistic. The problems of the world cannot possibly be solved by skeptics or cynics whose horizons are limited by the obvious realities. We need men who can dream of things that never were. The very word, secrecy, is repugnant in a free and open society. And we are as a people inherently and historically opposed to secret societies, to secret oaths, and to secret proceedings. In the long history of the world, only a few generations have been granted the role of defending freedom in its hour of maximum danger. I do not shrink from this responsibility. I welcome it. For time and the world do not stand still. Change is the law of life. And those who look only to the past or the present are certain to miss the future. Mankind must put an end to war. Or war will put an end to mankind. The supreme reality of our time is dot the vulnerability of our planet. The great enemy of the truth is very often not the lie, deliberate, contrived, and dishonest, but the myth, persistent, persuasive, and unrealistic. The problems of the world cannot possibly be solved by skeptics or cynics whose horizons are limited by the obvious realities. We need men who can dream of things that never were. A man may die, nations may rise and fall, but an idea lives on. 